Hello, in this video, I will discuss Google Search Algorithm. Topics that are covered in this video, what is Google Search Algorithm? Basic principles that are used for simplicity. And then we will learn how we can implement this algorithm step by step. What is Labby Flight, Labby Distribution, and how a Google Word can generate new solution, its mathematical model, and the aim of this algorithm. Then how we can compare the fitness value of the Google Word with the host word. And then we have the parameters that you can use for the implementation of this algorithm. And these parameters are sufficient for all type of optimization problems. So first we will start this with what is Google search algorithm. It is a meta heuristic algorithm that is inspired by some cuckoo species laying their egg in the nest of other species bird that increase their population and their survival. Here you can see the example of cuckoo bird egg in the other species nest. And you can see here um, other species bird feeding cuckoo. So in this algorithm we have two word species, cuckoo word and other word. We are denoting here other word with host word. So we have cuckoo and host word. You know the behavior of cuckoo bird, they do not have any nest, they lay their egg in the nest of other species. So here we have a nest for host bird and cuckoo bird will lay the egg in the nest of host bird. Uh, you know when the cuckoo will lay its egg in the nest of host bird, there is a possibility of discovery of cuckoo egg by the host bird. So what happened if host word discovered cuckoo's egg. So for this, uh, we will denote this possibility with the prob probability that is in the range 0 to 1. That is here PA is the discovery of alien egg that is the cuckoo's egg. So once the egg is discovered by the host word, then it can take two actions. Either it can throw the egg away or it can build new nest. So you can see here, if the host bird discovered cuckoo egg, the host bird can throw away the egg, or it can abandon the nest and build the new one. So the three rules for the simplicity of this algorithm are here. First is, each cuckoo lay only one egg at a time and places it in a randomly selected nest. Done. Second rule is, best nest with high quality of egg will carry over to the next generation third rule is the number of available host nest is fixed and once the egg is discovered by host nest it can throw away it or build new egg and there is a 10 percent possibility of discovery of cuckoo egg now we will try to convert this into mathematical model First rule is each cuckoo lay only one egg at a time and place it in a randomly selected nest. Done. Here each egg represents a solution that is stored in the nest and the artificial cuckoo can lay only one egg at a time. So the egg in the nest is a set of solution and cuckoo egg is the new solution. Done. Second rule is best nest with high quality of egg will carry over to the next generation. Here high quality egg means best best solution here optimal value it means the egg that are more similar to the host word egg and have opportunity to develop a more mature cuckoo and that is the new generation here and in order to calculate the fitness value the new and the better solution will be replaced with less fit solution that's how we will compute the fitness value third rule is that is the uh, number of host nest is fixed and once the egg is discovered by host word it can either kill the egg that is threw away or it can build the new nest and the probability is 0 to 1. The number of host nest is fixed that is the population and host word discover cuckoo that is the worst solution away from the optimal value. This is the algorithm for the cuckoo search. Let's see this with the flow chart. First, we will initialize the parameter for cuckoo search. After that, we will initialize the population of host nest 
and keep in mind the population of host nest is fixed check the condition if it is true then generate a new solution for cuckoo using lavish flight evaluate its fitness after that choose the nest randomly and then compare the fitness of the cuckoo with the host nest if the fitness of the cuckoo is greater then we will replace it and then next step so let's see this with first we will initialize the parameters the simplicity of this algorithm is here we use only two parameter that is number of host nest denoted with n probability of discovery of cuckoo egg is pa that is in the range of 0 to 1 and the probability of discovery of alien egg is 0 0.25 maximum number of iteration 1000 these parameters are sufficient for a lot of optimization problems and here you can see now according to first rule each cuckoo can lay only one egg at a time and it can place it in a randomly selected nest the question is here how cuckoo will fly and how it will place the egg in the nest in the real life bird can fly automatically you know they are capable to do so but in case of here in this case here we will use mathematical model to show this behavior so for this first we will understand the basic fundamentals it is a meta heuristic algorithm that is mimicking cuckoos done so here in order to show the cuckoos flying their behavior that is generating the new solution we will use here lavish flight that is you can see the equation here we will use this equation to generate the new solution by cuckoo here the value of i is 1 to n the uh, alpha is the step size this is the lavish exponent and the value is 1.5 and this operator means entry wise multiplication and this equation is for random walk that is used by cuckoo word to generate the new solution in the host nest here levy flight is the random walk it is done you can see here this is the random walk generated by this equation and that cuckoo word will use to reach the host nest and will place the egg so first we will understand the walk and the run in order to understand lavish flight first we will understand walk and run you know walk means a move at a regular pace and running is faster than walk here so it's all about movement right so in case of a walk it is we are taking smaller step to reach the destination and in case of running we are taking continuous steps to reach destination and here user is taking continuous step with speed let's see with an example so this is the person and here we have the destination first the person is walking suppose so it will take step little steps one step two so during walk a person will just take steps to reach the destination we are doing this to understand lavish flight so you know this is the random walk done by a person to reach the destination another way it can run done now let's see in case of cuckoo here we are using lavish flight to show this behavior by this word you know for we are using this equation here to show this behavior where we have cuckoo and this is the destination that is the whole host word nest and cuckoo will use here lavish flight that is the random walk used by this word here in this equation you can see this is the new solution i is the you know i value of i is 1 to n t is the current iteration then this is the current location of the cuckoo this is the step size multiplication operator entry wise multiplication 
and Levy's exponent. Now we will see this algorithm again. This algorithm is nothing but the simulation of random walk, random walk search process that is used by Cuckoo, where the Cuckoo is searching for a suitable nest for laying egg. So what is this? What is Cuckoo's random walk search process used by a word Cuckoo in order to search a suitable nest for laying egg? Here the word is using best search strategy that is Levy's flight. Okay, Levy flight and Levy's distribution. Using Levy flight, we can uh, we can certainly obtain the largest step size. And using Levy's distribution, we it is a series of steps, smaller steps that uh, we will use in the starting of the algorithm. So you can see here, this is the Levy's flight used here for the cuckoo word to generate a new solution. New solution means egg in the host nest. And here. Levy flight provide random walk to the cuckoo. Random step size is denoted by Levy's distri distribution that is this. Okay, now let's see how cuckoo will search. First, we will in initialize the population of host nest. After that, we will calculate the fitness value for each host nest. After that, we will generate the new solution for cuckoo by using Levy's flight. After that, we will update the, its location until we reach the best point. Suppose we have here a number of host nest and this is the random nest selected by Cuckoo for laying egg. Now here is situation, Cuckoo, this is the position of Cuckoo world and this is the location of destination, here the world want to reach. So how the world will travel this distance? For this we are using this equation that is the Levy's flight and, Levy's and the Levy's distribution. So how we will co compute this? Here Ri is the cuckoo search radius. That is the largest step cuckoo can take. And how it will, it will come to know that it is the destination when the goal that is the host nest is within the radius of the cuckoo within the radius of this circle then cuckoo will directly will fly to the destination in a straight line that is the Levy's flight now you can see here as before in the before slide i show you the Levy's walk that is the motion of the So once it reach, once the goal is in the radius, it will move in a straight line. Done. Now here you can see, world is now reached its destination. Here the world will lay egg. Now next case is, according to rule number three, cuckoo, now the cuckoo's egg is in the host nest. Now there is a possibility of uh, detection of the cuckoo's egg by host world and we will denote this with the probability of 0 to 1 so once the it is once the egg is detected by host word it can throw away the egg that is the worst case and another option that it can build new nest near the old one here you can see in order to represent this situation mathematically, we will use this equation. That is the new nest, new nest will be built near the older one. Now here you can see the rule number two. According to rule number two, the best nest with better quality of egg will move to the next generation. So here they will talk about what is the next generation and how the egg will move to next generation. For the simplicity here, Again, each nest has only one egg. Suppose the word is here, you know, using Levy's flight, the word is now here. It is laying its egg in the host nest. So done. Now, once the egg is in the host nest, there is a, again, probability of egg detected or egg is not detected. 
suppose this is the cuckoo word ag and the ag is not detected by host word here the case is cuckoo ag is not detected by host word and one important thing is here cuckoo ag had earlier than the host word ag so you know cuckoo ag is hatched then this will move to the next generation second case is that is the worst case that is the ag is detected by host word so in this case cuckoo ag is killed that is throw away now the aim of this cuckoo search algorithm is to use new and better solution that is cuckoo to replace the less good solution in the nest to achieve the optimal solution if the fitness value of the cuckoo egg is greater than the fitness value of the host egg then we will replace the host egg with cuckoo and increment as you can see here check the condition if the fitness value of the cuckoo is greater than host then replace the egg if the fitness value of cuckoo is less than the host word this is the worst case then then cuckoo egg is killed thrown away the, from the nest and then we will generate a new solution using levis flight again so what is fitness fitness is also fitness function is also you know known as evaluation function objective function and we use them for the optimization and here we determine how fit a solution is in the cuckoo search worst nest are replaced with new solution that are the better solution than older one and the current solution is ranked at each iteration we will rank the solution until we met the condition and the output you can see the best nest so this is all about cuckoo search you can see here you can see the parameters that are used here and these parameter values are sufficient for maximum optimization problem here n is the population that is the nest host nest you can take the value 25 probability of finding egg by host word is 0 0.25 and dimension is 2 current iteration we will take the counter 0 maximum is 1000 step size is 2 so this is the this is affecting the step size during random walk and this is the step size and this is the Levis exponent and this algorithm is used for the training of the neural network with better performance for solving nurse scheduling problem and in the traveling salesman problem so that's all about cuckoo search algorithm if you have any question you can still comment below and thanks for watching this video